we're having way too much fun well, to actually quick. be playing Magic on the, a professional <laughs> level. Those dice were rigged. <laughs> oh, yeah. We just lost. Uh, but in exchange, they gave us a incredible curve. Well, good. Of one, two, three, and actually enough. We should inform our opponent of that. <laughs> we know that you rigged the system to go first, sir. But you've already but, lost. But our mana curve is superior. Well, we don't know. No, that. he's the ka Kabuki Nader. The Kabuki Nader. Kabuki Nader. Kind of like Kabuki Cop. Like to Mulligan. No. No. Get that right, Matson. Yeah, that was humiliating. <laughs> that was. Oh uh, yeah. Actually, just last week, I missed a land drop because we were chatting it up, so humiliation just keeps coming. Hey, well, I put one of those um, those Radnock Carnariums out on turn one. <laughs> I, did that, I did that earlier today. <laughs> okay, wait, what? Rad, Radnock Carnarium. It's it's one of those dual lands. It's like black red, right? But it comes in play tapped, and then as a, as an additional cost, you have to bounce a land back to your hand. <laughs> so you put it down and pick it right back. I put it down on turn one. Um, I'm tasting tasting a bitter <laughs> celestial purge as oh. we are playing against that, but <clears throat> that's okay. You could always use it to kill our arsonist. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Right. And not get, and not get because, because, okay, triggered. Yes, oh. because for someone that stupid, you really should do that to yourself. When uh, someone... Oh, look at that shit. Screw the Celestial Purge bullshit. <laughs> no, no, no. This When somebody... When this guy specifically mind controls... Oh, he effed you. Right. When One of our dudes... Our mind control, if he does it on our Inferno Oh, yeah, item, yeah. That's right. That's why we made Dex Celestial. You Earth. got it, yes. For that one in one one hundred thousandth situational moment. Alright. Don't we fly? Doesn't that thing fly? I want to see if he'll block, just knowing that we can enable Bloodthirst. And no. He won't. So I think we still Berserker, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we can put out the other Arsonist. Two Arsonists. Uh, uh, uh. And the nice thing is, because this guy only gets it on the attack, he can't, yeah, yeah. if he blocks, he can still kill it. Another land, hit the Minotaur next turn. That would be hot. Yup. Hot like fire. That's the words. So, I'm thinking... Jesus Christ, this has nutmeg in it? Yep. Oh God, I'm, I'm allergic. allergic. Yep. <laughs> I, I drink I drink six gallons of this stuff and then I died. Okay. If we attack with this, he'll double, double block, block and, and kill it. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. Let's so, go in with both arsonists. Yeah, why not? Make us regret this. <laughs> <laughs> This guy knows what he's doing. Uh, do we want Veteran for pure power, or do we go Griffin so we can sail over his I head? think he's going to attack next turn. I think that the Griffin's the way to go. I will... Uh, but I never know what I'm talking hey, about. No. So you've made a huge mistake. I will I will see your you never know what you're talking about, and I will <laughs> raise you I didn't even see that in our hand. <laughs> <laughs> so there. That's because right. you're on your second sheet, Bob. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so now... Eh, whatever. You don't have bloodthirst creatures, and I don't care about three damage. That's right. I don't care about three damage. It's too bad you can't just target it, even though he's not black or red. Yeah. I think you got an alabaster mage in your hand. What do you care? Oh, but, but you got that, the scepter. It's a creature you control. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. But that scepter will do the trick. Oh, no, you can only target player. Yeah. That scepter's bullshit! <laughs> it is. Rot of ruin, cheap knockoff, piece of crap. I hate that card. Deep breath, Bob, <laughs> deep breath. Should have took the crown. We should have taken the crown. <sighs> so. He's doing the math, he's doing the math, blah blah blah. Alright, if I block anything, they die. 
Okay, so we have to, yeah, we could kill it anyway. Right. Nice move, well done. And let's just, yeah, let's do this. Yep, I think that's the right play, yeah. Yeah. Because that will stop him from Board attacking. advantage over a, a pinger. Yeah. Yeah. If we can get another land, we're so close to... Uh... Yeah, what's this with us getting screwed on the land? Oh, that hurts. I'm not thrilled with that part. Because he'll just now he's got a three three two three three flyers. Right. Um let's hmm. we can attack with both of these, which would make a three three and a three three. He'd have to choose which one he's gonna block to double block. Right. One of them would get through and you put down a gore horn. Okay. And we'd kill one of these guys. Yeah, yeah. So probably this guy's dying. And this guy's dying. Well, he doesn't want to risk losing either one of them because he knows he's going to hit us for six. Yeah, but at that point... Okay. So we want to kill the Benelish. Yep. And we want to now make him... Bounce it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Mind control it. Bounce Use it. your unsummon. Use it. Ah, our Celestial Purge was useful. We were able to banish our own Gorehorn Minotaur. Now what I like about this also is next turn when we attack with the Gorehorn, even if we end up trading it, I mean, who knows what he's going to play, right, but right. we could put out the Alabaster Mage beforehand and be yeah. gaining five life in the process. Sure, sure. Or if, like George says, he mind controls it. Yeah. Go for the purge. If we do see, he must be playing some enchantments, so maybe demystify. I don't know. We took an Aramancer, but he's actually main deck. Yeah. Guy, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's not bad. That helps us. So here, I think we want to put this in before attacks, right. and then potentially not use it if it doesn't. Go up. Yeah, yield. Like if he blocks, <laughs> well, actually, probably no matter what, we want to gain five life more than we want to yeah. deal one damage. But, hmm. Are you sensing that trick? I'm wondering. I think I'm not going to turn it on. Let's see what happens. I'm sensing that. We might have him on the ropes, and damage might be more profitable than life. Like, he can't attack. He's at such negative card advantage right now. Right, and if we can put him at a... On sure, sure, on... A little bit more of a clock. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Lord knows he doesn't have any anti-artifact stuff. <laughs> I hope he plays Master Thief this turn. That would be awesome. That would. Well, he'd have to play an island, too. Yes. So maybe he's mono host too. Yeah, uh, it must be it. Yeah, because we eventually. Here's the thing. We so. Whoa! Yeah! Wow! Okay. Celestial purge is leaving. Gone. And then. Isn't that the way that, why they usually say not to play those things? It is, but if you go beyond what they say and actually consider the format, I. Then you sometimes do stupid things. Yeah, but sometimes work out. Likewise, Death Mark I think is main deckable because so many people are playing white. Right. And if you were playing Swiss, which we're not, then it's totally worth it because in your three opponents you will run sure. into um, a place that it works. I think demystify just Did because he has the Aramancer out there. He had the Aramancer. He must. And he's playing I, I blue, so the potential for mind control. Love it. Makes all right. That is a wise choice, sir. Or spirit mantle, since he's playing white. Sure. And I mean, we had a wasted card last time. It didn't seem to. Yeah, hurt us, so. yeah, yeah. We'll go for it again. <laughs> Why not waste another spot in our deck? I don't Ooh. like that at all. I mean, it doesn't ever suck to have a Saren in your opening hand, but we just don't have any land at all. We're on the draw. Ugh. 
and we have a monolith. If we get it on our land. Right. So we have three turns to draw it. He had to mulligan to six. So he's going to be at card disadvantage. I think we keep it. Oh. Can we keep it? Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think we do because we have, like I said, three turns to draw one more thing, and then we're, yeah. we're rolling. Well, you're the best player in the room, so. <laughs> <laughs> Some best player in the world since you've been no, no. on Pro Tour thing. No, because I don't get out much. <laughs> so I've never actually seen the world. Well, it's not ideal because it's not white, but... <laughs> what did you just say? Well, I can't believe you talk like that. We're a loser license. <laughs> when did we get a license? All Nebraskans are not like this. I have permits. Well, this guy's never seen play. Nope. <laughs> Why did we pick that guy? Put it on Demystify in. <laughs> if only we had... Bring the Celestial Purge back. We need two monoliths. Right. If we have two monoliths out there, then they look like... Nipples. Hey, maybe we'll see play. Okay. So now we probably... Draw out his monoleak. Or no. I don't know if I would... I don't know if I would monoleak a, a monolith. Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't. I either. can't. If he thought that we were... He oh. probably thinks that we're gomers just for taking one. <laughs> so like, you took a monolith? You're a gomer. I'm feeling a little bit worse by the moment that we did it, but... Um... Okay, because he did not cast anything, do we think he is... He's either sitting there with a handful of something to react, or he's got nothing. Right. I think we're not in a significantly worse position if we played the Warhorse, which would be... And let him get rid of it. Well, if he has Monoleak, we have three up. Yeah. So we couldn't do that. And then play the Scepter. Because we're he, still getting three right. potential and even if he doesn't Monoleak, that, we don't care as much. Right. So he's got some nasty stuff in his hand. Yep. Or he was unwilling to use a Cancel on either one of those cards. But at some point in time, he has to cast something, and we might be able to sneak out our... That's a good Sarah. prediction. <laughs> at some point in the future, he will cast something. I mean, at some point in this game, he's going to have to cast something. That is... And I didn't use the... Oh, it wasn't a heart attack and died. It's okay, dude. Okay, let's get in. And there's no reason to wait on it, so I'm just going to uh -huh. use it. Okay. Do we still... Like, why isn't he casting spells? I don't know. Do we just cast the Sarah to draw it out? Or do I go Griffin? It's a bot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, that why we struggled it's, to win? Yeah, it's Kabukinator 2000. Let's Here see. it comes. I just don't think he has anything. I think that we're giving him extra turns to get something to say yeah. as an answer. Yeah, Is it all land? We probably are totally just screwing ourselves. He's got like the world flare out there in two turns. <laughs> We're just gonna wipe out everything. He's a creature as well. You have to equip it to something. <clears throat> Maybe mind control. Maybe he's waiting for us to play something relevant. He's gonna, he wants us to overextend ourselves. No, he's just will. Oh. Day of judgment. Oh. he could have day of judgment and is waiting to get. Oh, look at that max potential out of it. Although he just did played a creature that he probably wouldn't if he had Day of Judgment. I think he's I think his deck did what our decks do to us occasionally and shit on him. Right. So we're gonna get to draw four cards. If he uses it, yeah, we would have to discard all of those and then draw it. So at that point if we we're gonna dump have to our hand discard him anyway, we dump our hand. Um but let's attack in and see if he chumps, because if he chumps, that's a good sign that maybe he is still holding a Day of Judgment. Right. And he was just buying himself some time. He's got shit. What does Day of Judgment do? Kills all creatures. Yeah. It's Wrath, but without the... can't be regenerated. Okay. Fair enough. What has he got in his hand? Nothing. Or he has mind control. I mean, it's still possible that on this turn he takes... This can't them. be a clever ruse. Not 12 turns in. 7. 7 turns in. 13 turns in. Oh, there you go. 
So he was waiting for something that he thought was worthy of his answer. Hey, we got to demystify, though, don't we? You're right. We did do that. Yeah. Well, we don't have it right now. Well, no, but it's in there. Like real tomatoes? It's in there. Okay. Again, this is not the way I would typically play the turn, but I'm going to cast the Dignitary beforehand in case he chumps and then uses the ability. I don't want to discard sure. the Dignitary. Yeah, sure. the Dignitary, even though we're drawing three cards. Right, you need to make it really disadvantageous for him to actually do that. Right. We are getting huge card advantage if he right. uses that ability. And he will jump just, nope, he did it. Wait, wait, He's like, on. no. I'm doing it wrong. Yeah. Okay, now I block. And he was just jumping. So wow. apparently he still thinks his three cards are better than our no cards. Well, He's right. Card. His three cards are better than our no cards. Regardless of what they are, they're better than no cards. He's got you there. Mm -hmm. You can't argue. Well, you can't. No. But you No, should. you can't argue. Period. New rule. New rule. No <laughs> arguing. Yeah, this is going to be the most boring show ever. <laughs> only no, well. One rule. I mean, yes. Yes, it will. Yeah, it, will, it will be the most. Oh, look, he's got a war horse. Well, do I concede now? <laughs> We didn't yet already. Does he have two more land? <laughs> I feel really uh, bad for this guy if that was his flood. I, but strangely enough, I don't. <laughs> That's not strange at all. No? No. I can't imagine you being at all sympathetic to <laughs> anyone. anyone. Wow. That's just wrong. Anyone on uh, Magic Online. Okay, yes, yeah. And, and really, I'm not that sympathetic to no. anyone on Magic Online. I have a big file full of people who are... Uh, who, who, who you will get your revenge upon. Right, who have said awful, awful things <laughs> about my family and <laughs> my gameplay. And most of it was true, but it's still... <laughs> it's, it's still inappropriate. Yeah. I think he's in a lot of trouble here. This is just my prediction. No, he's got a whirlwind of death in those three cards. I... The Maybe. fact that our piker could take him at this point is not a good sign. Did he play three colors? Is he holding a sword in dimensions? Maybe the foil of <laughs> oh, God, I hope so. Be <laughs> if I can just draw three more swamps. Beautiful. That would be justice right there. Okay, here's what I like about this round. I oh. don't like that our opponent has... Oh, look, I think. Uh failed to present much of a challenge. Uh, but what I do like is that our deck has not used either of our rares. That's right. We have not Inferno tightened our way to a win. No. And at Wait, some point that. during this tourney, if we get a couple rounds in, we probably will. He is playing three colors. Wow, look at that. Now what, that could be... Dream. He's playing Fireball? We probably should have left in that Celestial Purge. Oh, yeah, he could be playing Fireball. Yeah. With just one mountain. Hey, look, he was playing Fireball. Right. But that's not going to deal enough damage to kill him. Oh, did he do the math wrong? Yes, very, very wrong. Oh. I think he thought that when he dealt four, it went to multiple, but it was four split yeah, between two. Yeah, to two. Ah. Been there, dude. Good God. <laughs> wow, you couldn't even apologize to him. Uh, Whatever, don't apologize. Yeah, I didn't want to apologize, so that's why it took so long. Hey, look, success! I can't figure out how to turn off our damn thing. Ah! What? Pause rec <laughs> Wait. Okay, now. Now, 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 now it's recording. recording. Now it's recording. Right. But why did I start recording again? I don't know. You wanted to say something, Bob. Did I? Well, you, you started always to want to say something. Well, until I thought we were still recording <laughs> before. But when... Uh, uh, okay, so... Are we going to stop? <laughs> well, are going to say something? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the hell, Bob? You put on a tie and you lose all the ability to speak? <laughs> I, I left all the blood not circulating in my head anymore. Um, Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> straight into my ass. <laughs>
<laughs> yo, I was like sitting on a beanbag. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> Tastes like pumpkin. Uh, no, I just want to say that. Um, but can't be too the, bad. John's drinking it. Mm. The say that the uh, the site's taken off thanks to all of you out there, the viewers. We had um, four thousand one hundred hits so far this month. That's the most we've ever had. Now, granted. That's pretty small potatoes in the grand scheme of sites like Draft Magic, Channel for blah, 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 who's what they're big, who cares? You know, right. we're not like that. We're not that big yet. But thanks to you, um, obviously bored and deluded sad fucks out there. <laughs> right. Uh, who think that this is somehow entertaining. Oh, it is. Um, it's entertaining. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's entertaining to see three people wasting their lives. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this site should be just titled Schadenfreude. That's all there is to it. Oh man, um, well it could be worse. It could be happening to me. Uh, but anyways, when I, when I started this thing up like a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago, yeah. uh, we had like had like maybe twenty five like the first month. Yeah. You know, um, so this is a, I can't even imagine that it did this well. And like I said, we're not making any money off this. We're doing this just for the shits and giggles and until yeah. no, we, we actually make money off of it. Wouldn't mind making money off of yeah, it. Eventually, but no one else is making money either, so why why be greedy? Yeah. Um, so anyways, thanks everyone for that. Greed makes uh, the world go around. You know, keep it up. I mean, we'll we'll just do more of this. Yeah, and keep commenting also. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, we like it. Yeah, we do like to get some feedback from you. I promise I am going to post it. I am going to post some stuff. See, you said that last week. You promised us Cudblade. Oh, yeah. And, and you failed. And someone else beat him to the punch. Yeah, yeah. I got beat. I got my ass kicked by Cudblade. Yeah. But there was no blade. <laughs> yeah, well, we never saw... Well, it was it's a, a popper sharp, deck. So it, it was a sharp had, cowbell, man. If it, if it had like a Soren's cowbell. You, you need to find a common blade. Not like like sort of Feast and Famine. Right? Just anything yeah. with blade in it that you could equip. Uh, I was going to say trusty machete, I think. Great sword. Common. Great sword, yeah. yeah. Seriously, there's a card called trusty machete. Yeah. Yeah, you know. I know they ran out of names. <laughs> So what's that? It's Mark Rose wants to come up like a five day bender, and they're like, no, 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 we should call it. This is a knife. I got my fucking lawn chair and my trusty machete. Grab <laughs> my rose water. <laughs> <laughs> and coming in in a strad, <laughs> fucking <Yeah>. lawn chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so we're probably a ways off yet, so let's give these guys a break. You poor bastard. Anyway, we love this shit, so thanks. <laughs>